Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Today we are going to work on a small section because I have, well, I don't have, my kids have speech therapy today at 3.45, so I'm going to work on a small section, not very big, or I will never get it done. So, I don't know about you guys, but I am having a hard time picking my drills and chills, not just <laughs> um, drills and chills. Um, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time with it, but it's just like every time I think I found something I like, I'm like, oh, but what would I do with it? So I'm trying to find something that I like and something I will be perfectly okay with hanging up. So I'm looking for like a fall time photo of like some landscape and of course Diamond Art Club is completely sold out of everything that has um, you know Graham's name on it. So um, I because I wanted to purchase pretty much all of those um, I think it's like Graham Greckham, Greck, Greckham, something like that. Um, but they're all sold out. I can't find any of them because I really love the cherry blossom and like, I don't know, I don't know when I started liking scenic. Scenic um, diamond paintings, but I have officially started to like them. So I really want to get um, all of the ones by him on Diamond Art Club's website. Um, and I went and I checked out his actual uh, website and almost all of his pictures are named with Misty in it. So I was like, are you serious right now? It's like destined because like his cherry blossom ones are like Misty Reflection or something or Misty Reflection River or something, something along those lines. I'm like, okay. That's kind of cool. That's probably why they speak to me because they have my name in it. Um, so I really want Diamond Art Club to restock those before I run out of time for drills and chills because I don't know when they're going to restock. And I really want to get them. So, um,. I actually have a $10 off coupon, I think, through them because um, the video, not the video, the trial version of, you know, all the trial versions that I got of their, like, the Rainbow Rose and the Season Tree and Soulmates and stuff. Um, you know, they, they ask you when you purchase something to go and do a review and when they, you do a review, you get rewards points and, you know, you get birthday rewards points and stuff like that when you enter in your birthday. And so I actually have a $10 off coupon, um, based on the reward points that I have got, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so I was looking forward to doing that. I actually, I actually wanted to, um, use 
one of their other promo codes of they have like a buy buy two get one free but they never have the images in stock right now because of covid and so i haven't been able to use use that and they'll get sometimes they'll get one in but not the other and then it's like or they'll get one in but not the other two so um, sometimes they do pre-orders but it doesn't seem like they do them that often so I'm just like when will COVID end? <laughs> COVID has been nothing but a pain in the butt so and you know I fully understand it's not Diamond Art Club's fault you know they're doing they're doing what they what you know what they can with what they've been dealt with and so it's not their fault at all and but it just it, it just sucks it really sucks and I think it's a little on the early side for them to come out with their Halloween stuff so they haven't I don't think they're they're gonna do that for a little while but I, I'm not like a super big fan of I like Halloween but not enough to display Halloween stuff in my apartment like year-round and I just dropped the drum but I didn't see it come all the way down so where the heck it went um, so I don't think I would want to display Halloween stuff year round except for one and that was by an artist and that's only because they added a pumpkin in with Ariel and so um, and I, I like the Ariel so I'm willing to display that year round it doesn't necessarily have to um, Halloween for it to be displayed because well I like it a lot so um, so that is what I'm trying to do for um, you know and I it's kind of sucks because I've seen the stolen images on Amazon and I'm like ugh it just sucks that they have them in stock but Diamond Art Club doesn't <laughs> but I won't I wouldn't buy it so from Amazon so I was contacted by a company a diamond a diamond painting company that asked me to do a review for their diamond um, painting so I will be looking for that in the future um, and you'll have a review video for that And I don't mind these companies that want to reach out and ask me to, um, you know, review their products or, or whatnot. I just, um, you know, I just want them to know that they, that when I do a review, I give an honest opinion. I show the goods and the bads, um, and i do not hide anything and give my honest review so um and so i don't mind reviewing it as long as they know that i'm not gonna just you know blow um rainbows and sunshine their way just because they you know asked me to review their product i will always give my honest opinion of what I think of a product so and 
you know, I feel, I feel honored when I'm asked. So, um, so that's always nice. Um, especially since I'm a small channel and I, you know, don't fully expect it. It's like, sometimes it comes as a shock to me, like, oh wow, you want me to review your products? Yeah, definitely. But, um, you know, I'm hoping that I won't always be a small channel, so. So that'll be nice, but it's definitely an honor to, to be asked um, by companies to review their products. take off some of the diamonds and like reposition like reposition them because they're not they're not sliding over the way I want them to like and it and it's probably only me that can see the flaws in it but it's like irritating me <laughs> So, like everything starts off straight because, you know, I use a card to keep everything straight. So why is it that at some point it changes? I don't get it. Oh my God, that freaking dog is going to sit and bark through my entire video today. Fuck. She's going to be out there. I shouldn't even be interrupted by a dog considering I don't have any. Yeah, and you know, the apartment manager still isn't doing anything about the dog. So, my next step is to contact the city or, you know, whatever and figure out who I've got to talk to because I'm getting really fed up. Like, it's it's getting to the point where it's, it shouldn't even be happening anymore. And then a manager's like, I'm just checking on the status to see how your weekend went. And it's like, why bother? You're not going to do anything. Why are you even bothering to, to say or do anything? Cause you're just letting them get away with it. Like, all they ask is they don't have a dog out on the damn balcony. How hard is it to keep the dog where it needs to be and going to the bathroom where it needs to go? Shouldn't be that difficult. If you guys are responsible enough, dog owners, then you would be taking your dogs out enough that they wouldn't pee when they step outside on the balcony. That's the other thing, like, it's annoying to have a dog sitting out there barking. So, yesterday I wasn't feeling well, so I went in and laid down and took a nap. And the dogs sat there and barked for like an hour. And I was like, God, I'm trying to take a freaking nap and dogs are a nuisance. Because they can't go out on the balcony without barking at everybody or everything that walks by or moves. And people walk by often because there's a lot of people in this complex. So. should just move them to another 
do another unit and make them be downstairs where they, they don't have a balcony to put their dogs on. That would prevent them from doing it. And then they want to sit and say, oh, well, we don't want you to get discouraged from telling us about the, about the events happening. We'll then do something about it. Like, so I'm not just like looking like I'm reporting everything and nothing gets done about it. Like I'm wasting my breath and time. Because she sure as heck don't answer back when you call her and... You gotta set up a meeting to go into the office just to talk to her. That's, that's, to me that's a ridiculous. I never lived in apartments where I did not have access to the manager. And I don't know if that's because it's COVID time or what, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I think, like, it, they should be contacting us. Like, you know I've been trying to call you. And if I call and leave a message and you call and you don't get a hold of me, then try again. Doesn't seem like rocket science. So it's just, it's pretty frustrating to say the least. Oh, here they go again. Let's bark some more. Bark, bark, bark. And today is mowing day, I think. Too. So they're going to sit and bark at the people mowing out there. And I don't even really, I don't even complain about their barking. I complain about the fact that they pee. But their barking is becoming annoying too. And like I said, most days I can ignore it and be just fine. But it's like days when I'm trying to record and they're barking over me. Like, who wants to listen to a dog bark? I don't. So, I am finding, sometimes working on these, this painting and recording all of it is kind of um, a pain because it takes a minute to set up and and stuff so but I am definitely enjoying working on it when I finally get it set up and on the table and it's not slipping off the table every two minutes um, but I did see some different magnets on Amazon that I am thinking about trying for the table. They're supposed to be a little more heavy duty. And they're like silver, silver button ones, so they're like, but I need to find ones that are like big but flat, because I need them to be as flat as possible, because when you get them behind the diamond painting and they stick up, it's kind of a nuisance when you're trying to diamond paint next to it, <laughs> or on it, so... And I did want to make some um, cover minders too because I have a bunch of clay that I need to figure out what I'm going to do with. So, um, but I, I'm thinking about making some cover minders out of the clay. Or maybe some more pens, or both, you know, because I got quite a bit of clay, like, it's, 
I only got like a little starter pack thing and I end up with a bunch of clay. Um, so. I'm gonna try to make a, my, my goal is to make at least a butterfly cover minder for myself. See how that goes. curious to know what you guys are working on or if you guys have just finished something recently what you finished I am probably like three quarters of the way done with the one I'm working off camera. Um, and it's a 60 by 40. Which I actually, um, I post all my finishes on Instagram. So... have them I have them up by year so it's um, the last three years and which ones I've completed when so my Instagram is Gina rocks G N R R O C K S 916 to post more progress photos but since I'm doing YouTube now I tend to just you know leave it on to the YouTube channel for previews and progress what I'm doing I'm gonna try to um, work on my mom. I think I'm just gonna do it offline. Just because this one is so, so um, big and you know, it already takes up so much of, of my time on the channel. So, I don't know. Do you guys want to see me continue working on the smaller diamond painting with my mom? Or, um, would you rather just see it finished? I haven't decided. I have a hard time deciding. And I don't, I'm not the type that likes to have too many whips um, at the same time. Like, I, I don't like to start something that I can't work on. And sometimes my husband is the deciding factor in it. 
because I'll go, do I want to work on this or do I want to do that? Or, and he'll go, this is what you're doing. <laughs> so, so sometimes he's the, the voice of reason. Um, and then sometimes I argue, have to argue with him and be like, I don't want to work on that. <laughs> but for the most part, he's a voice of reason. And like he'll usually tell me like, you need to record a video today. So here's your stuff. And he'll usually try to help me set it up. Um, you know, so long as he's here, but he actually, um, he actually might have found a job doing Amazon delivery. So, which I'm only semi happy about. I'm like, I'm happy that he found a job, but I'm, but I'm also like not too happy that he found a job because he's going to be working like 10 hour shifts. So he's going to be gone for like most of the day. He's going to be gone from like 9, 9, 15 in the morning to like, well, yeah. He'll be gone like eight something and then he won't be back until like eight thirty nine o'clock because he's got 10 hour shifts so it just it really is gonna suck but until he can find something more reasonable um we're kind of like you know we kind of don't have a choice and we used to do Amazon Flex a while back. I am not too happy that he got a job that is not a normal nine to five. You know, like I said, because it's like the hours of work are from nine to is nine fifteen. 8.45. Oh, 8.45 to... No, sorry, 9.45 to 8.15. 9.45 to 8.15. I don't know. What is it doing? Device is too hot. Well, it's a good thing I didn't actually... It's a good thing I changed from a Google Pixel to a Samsung. <laughs> yeah, because it, it keeps saying that it's too hot. I'm going to be like blinking in and out. Do you want me to just like put a flashlight and have it stay on that way so you don't have to have a flash on? What's it doing now? It's going in and out of saying it's too hot. I don't know. I couldn't find my usual phone because my son did something with it that I usually use my time lapse so I'm using my old my recent old pixel and you know it's definitely doing exactly what I knew that I the reason I hated the phone to begin with <laughs> because it has so many issues. I was going to use it just to do the hyperlapse, but it wouldn't even, it, it doesn't even have hyperlapse on it. It has time lapse, which I think is different, but it doesn't let me um, use it in, it does not let me use it the flash in high, in the time lapse mode so it obviously doesn't want to use it in this mode either for very long because it's complaining that it's too hot so I'm probably gonna have to end my video earlier than I would like because it's gonna keep having issues but I will have the time lapse video hopefully um, posted at the end of this so long as nothing else malfunctions.
or both of my phones are crapping out and so I'm just going to end the video recording here. I'm going to continue on with the time lapse um, and you'll be able to see what I finished at the end. Bye guys! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.